Camera's on, right? All that, we're good. It's not just radio, it's Rockland World Radio. RocklandWorldRadio.com Welcome to Creating Health, Mind, Body, and Spirit with Dr. Ken Davis. Heard on Rockland World Radio every Monday evening at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be sure to check out the archives for many programs previously recorded on the Creating Health program page. Tonight you can join us in the chat room by clicking on the chat room button located on the left hand side of our menu bar. There's also a phone that you can call into the show on the chat room uh, page. It's 845-353-2910. Now the host of Creating Health, Mind, Body, and Spirit, Dr. Ken Davis. Health, Mind, Body, and Spirit. I'm Dr. Ken Davis. As Rich said, it is October 6, 2014 here in the East. And uh, I'm back. And I'm excited to be back. It's been quite a while since uh, we've done a live show on Rockland. I've been pretty busy. And hopefully you've uh, enjoyed the archives and have been going into them to look at all of our shows uh, from the past. You know, it's hard to believe that we started here at Rockland, God, in June of 2009. It's five years. It's incredible. And even though I know we've been on and off, but uh, there's many, many shows that you can certainly take advantage of. Um, we're excited about the new format that we're launching, relaunching. Um, I am. And um, let me tell you a little bit about it before we get into tonight's topic in the show. And again, I, as always, I would encourage you to please call me, participate, ask questions, go into the chat room, send me, a, send me a question, tell me what you need to know. And uh, as many of you listeners know, I love to share information and I love to teach. Um. The format of the show is primarily going to be on various aspects of health and, and well-being, nutrition, lifestyle, diet, uh, stress reduction. Uh, it's going to be very different from the previous shows in which we've done. And um, I'm also going to bring on guests in the new format, uh, very interesting guests that will be talking about um, topics in the field of health and alternative health and integrative um, uh, things that can improve your, uh, you. So I'm, I'm excited. Also, I would ask you that you, again, as I mentioned, participate and send me a, um, send me an email, go into our, um, our pages that we have on Facebook. I'll, I'll mention that in a second. And, um, so let's, let's build an army. Let's build a team. Let's build a community. It's so needed today. It really is. It's so needed because, um, you know, a lot of the models out there, especially uh, uh, in the United States and around the world, they're not working anymore. Um, we'll talk about that tonight. Uh, a little bit about that. Uh, we have a Facebook uh, page that you can go to and, uh, and post, send information. It's on Facebook the Davis Advanced Health System page. Also, um, we have a what we call an innate group, Energetic Nutrition Assessment Technique. Um, it is a closed group. You can um, uh, request an, an invite, and we will uh, log you into the group. And we post on varying topics of uh, this new system that we've developed and have been teaching, and also... Uh, on varying topics of nutrition and health and well-being and so forth. So I would encourage you to do that. So follow us. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Facebook. Um, send us your, uh, your information and uh, what you'd like to have, what type of show you'd like to hear. And um, I'll do my best. I'm just trying to log on to... Good. I just got back from... Um, this weekend from Boston, 
where I taught a workshop entitled Energetic Nutrition Assessment Technique or Innate Foundations in Functional Medicine. And I've been teaching this system uh, and uh, two doctors and uh, uh, nutritional practitioners and, and uh, naturopaths and medical physicians uh, in the Midwest and in the Pacific Northwest and again recently in Boston and in New Jersey. You know, those that are listening, the United States uh, in its, all of its technology and all of its knowledge, you know, has actually gone up in the health component where the, that we are now number 50 in the world in health. We were 47 and now we're 50. It's pretty astonishing considering we're considered to be the most powerful country there is. Why is that? There are reams and reams and tons and tons of information that we are inundated with every day as it relates to diet, food, health, uh, the re how to gain it, how to properly eat, what to eat, what not to eat, what food is best, what's not. We see things about genetically GMOs, genetically engineered and modified foods, and so on and so forth. We hear things in the newspaper, in health magazines, and on the Dr. Oz show, and this show, and that show, and we're confused. It's extremely confusing to understand what it is or how to eat, how to not, or really how to be healthy. And what do we do? And more importantly, how do we really understand uh, and get to what really the root cause of our health problem is or how to understand how to, uh, to, how to maintain our health? We are seeing a rise, an incredible, I mean, I just, it's hard to believe, but beginning in chiropractic school in 1974, I'm celebrating my 40th year uh, as being a healthcare provider to, uh, to individuals. Uh, 38 years, going on 38 years in my practice. Seeing a wide variety of many, 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 many conditions and illnesses and imbalances over the years. Why? Why is that? What can we do? How can we um, um, learn and how can we become independent also? Independent from what? How can we come, become independent from the medical model? How do we do that? Uh, because you can. How can you become also independent from practitioners that you may be going to, whether they're alternative or not? Because the goal in, 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 of, a, of a, your healthcare provider is to become and act as your mentor, to be your guide and teacher on the road to teach you how you can become independent. For example, if I gave you a, a manual on how to fly a plane, and I said, okay, here's the manual, go fly this plane, it would be very difficult for you to go and learn how to do it. You need a teacher, you need a guide, you need a mentor that can put you in and get you to feel it and be in it and learn, teach you how to, how to fly. I'm sure all of you listening in have had teachers and mentors in your life. Maybe it's a coach that you had in an athletic sport or a, uh, you know, a trainer in the gym or the, a spa that you may be going to. It's very difficult sometimes to... Um, to progress or, you know, on your own, it, it may take a long time. So this program, the Creating Health Show and myself, uh, is committed to acting as your guide and your mentor on your path to, to reclaim your health and your life and your well-being. But you have some basic truths that you have to understand about health and well-being. And my job is to shine that light of truth on you through, um, through teaching you 
and educating you what I've come to learn and understand about health and, and well-being and why we get sick and why we're ill and what to do about it and how to properly eat and what we should eat and what we shouldn't eat. And also to understand, too, that there's no two individuals that are the same. And what one person needs is not necessarily what the other person needs. We can't eat everything. Everyone may, may do well on being a vegan. Others may do well uh, needing uh, animal protein. Others may do well on, 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 on quinoa, and so on and so forth. And we're going to talk about it, and we're going to learn through our Creating Health show how to know and what to do about it. Also tonight, after the show and uh, on preceding shows, you're going to have an opportunity to come into our office in Montclair, New Jersey, in the Davis Health, Advanced Health System, and allow us to do a consult with you uh, in uh, this understanding that we're going to talk about of the five pillars, and also to have a complimentary evaluation in our innate program that we do, or energetic nutrition assessment technique, which I'll talk about as the show goes on. You will have that opportunity. So, with that in mind, I got a chat from Sophia who says, welcome back. Thanks, Sophia. I'm very excited to be back. I really am. And um, uh, it's great to be back. And I hope you enjoy the show tonight. And feel free to chat with me and give me a call on the phone. In understanding um, our health and how to reclaim our health, this building and this studio that I'm sitting in right now is supported by foundations, by pillars that hold this building up. And without those pillars and foundation, again, this building's going to crumple. It's going to fall. The same with our health and our well-being. Without a strong foundation or pillars of our health, then our health is going to fall and it's going to fail. And unless we can understand these pillars and what they are, and then, first of all, evaluate them of whether or not there's involvement with them, then it's going to be very, very difficult, for, number one, to understand what our root cause of our underlying health problem is. And we're going to continue to treat, even in an alternative mode, apart from the medical model, we're going to treat really the symptom. We're not really going to go to the underlying cause of the problem. We won't. So, one of the things that I've come to understand over the years and also deal with in our, in our uh, alternative practice and our functional medicine practice in Montclair is this understanding of these five foundational pillars. And let's talk about those, and then we'll move on from there. What I want you to understand again, and I'm gonna, I'm, I want to hit home with this tonight in the show, is that you cannot reclaim your health and your well-being unless you are evaluating these five foundational pillars. Because an imbalance in one, two, or more of these pillars is also going to lead to an effect and a disruption and an imbalance in the major body systems, which are endocrine, hormonal, neuro the neurological, and the detoxification system of the body, the immune system, allergy system, and cardiovascular system. So these five foundational pillars, which we're going to talk about, lead to an imbalance and a disruption in the major body systems. See, health is built on certain biochemical foundations. The five foundational pillars of nutrition are these. Proper gut health or digestion. Two, the ability to regulate insulin or your blood sugar, governed by three major organs of your body. What are those three organs? 
the liver, the pancreas, and the adrenal glands. These little glands, but so important, that sit on your kidneys. Also, you have to have proper fatty acid balance. That's the balance of your omega-3s and your 6s and 9s. See, it's not just that it says, oh, okay, go, go out there and take fish oils. Fish oils. How do you know you need those omega-3s? What if you need 6s? What if you need 9s? And now, even omega-7s. What if you would do better with the food rather than the supplement? These are all questions you have to, we're going to discuss and talk about, things you need to know. Also, another, that's so we have three pillars. Again, digestion, gut health. Two, blood sugar regulation. That's a foundational pillar. Three, fatty acid balance. Four, what we call tissue mineral status. Tissue minerals, those are your macronutrients and your micronutrients, micro minerals, vitamins and minerals. What's your macronutrients? Macro, proper water, water, fats, carbohydrate, protein. I'll say that again. What are your ma macronutrients? Water, proper water, enough water, fats, protein, carbohydrate. And all of you, I'm sure, have heard of in your micronutrients, right? We have micro minerals, we have minerals, we have water soluble uh, minerals, we have fat soluble vitamins, we have water soluble, I'm sorry, we have water soluble vitamins and fat soluble vitamins. We have macro minerals, we have micro minerals, and so forth. These Water, all need to be evaluated fats, in relationship to your protein, health and well being, and especially are so needed in vital functions uh, and biochemistry of your body. The fifth pillar primarily is hydration. So, again, in summary and review, we have to have five foundational pillars. There's five foundational pillars of nutrition. The foundations and the pillars that your health stands upon. And there has to be balance. Again, proper digestion, blood sugar handling, fatty acid balance, tissue mineral status, and proper hydration. Now again, if there's a disruption, and that, before that, imbalances in one, two, or all of these five pillars is the underlying root cause of your health condition. Anything that you may have, a family member, a friend, a loved one, has in their health and well-being can all be traced back to a disruption or a dysfunction in one or more of those pillars. But you have to evaluate it. And if your physician or medical doctor, or whoever, for example, or a holistic practitioner is not evaluating those five foundational pillars, they're, you're, they're missing it. They're not going to uncover the root cause of your problem. Again, those five foundational pillars are going to create a disruption in the four major body systems of you. Again, your endocrine function, hormonal, cardiovascular function, the neurological system, and the body's detoxification, the ability to clean the body, your body to clean itself of poisons. And um, uh, your immune allergy system. Now, when you have disruption in these five foundational pillars and major body systems, then you're going to see the manifestation of degeneration, degenerative disease, diabetes, heart disease, virus, autoimmune, heavy metal toxicity. Hormonal imbalances, cancer, and many of those, really, the wide array of, of degeneration, which is so... Un 
incredible of the amount of illness that's going on. It, it was very different 40 years ago. Yeah, people always had a problem, but we're seeing such a, um, you know, a increase in degenerative diseases. Why is that? Why? We can't blame global warming on everything, right? This is what the Creating Health Show is going to be about. It's time to get healthy, everyone. It's time when we're 40, we want to be 40 years old and look 40. We don't want to look 60 when we're 40. We want to be the most and maximum at each particular age and level. When we're 50, we want to look 50 or younger. Also, we have to understand those, why the cells break down, why they degenerate, all the things we're going to discuss. Okay. Now, the other thing is, let's talk a little bit about hydration. Let's go through the, the, the pillars, discuss it, the importance of them. Many, many people today do not, are not properly hydrated. And many, many people today, they don't drink enough water. And also, with not drinking enough water, m most of us out there are over-consuming an incredible amount of caffeine, coffee, and other, other caffeine-related items. When you overload and are drinking coffee, 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 and other things, and then are not drinking water, primarily, you're creating an electrolyte imbalance in your body. And uh, when you have an electrolyte imbalance, you are going to affect major function or disturbances in, in areas of your body, particularly your kidney function the filters of your body. Also, when you have electrolyte deficiency, you're throwing off your ratios of sodium and potassium and so forth. So you're looking at blood pressure problems, um, high and low. You Eventually, it's going to lead to one of the other pillars being involved, which is your tissue mineral status. So here you're going to begin to develop uh, cramping, problems with thyroid function, uh, calcium regulation, and many, many other things. So we have to have proper hydration, and we have to have, so we have to have proper water. Problem is, is that a lot of people are not drinking, number one, enough water, and the quality of the water in which we drink is poor. So one, more water, and the right water. Also, a lot of times we're drinking water, but we don't have enough minerals or the proper minerals within the water, which adds really the food or the life to the water. And we'll talk more about that as we go on. So, hydration. In relationship to the second pillar, our gut health. Also, we have to understand that Gut health or digestive health begins with where in our body? Begins in here in the mouth, in glands called your salivary glands or parotid glands. Very interesting that the parotid glands, or what we know as the old mump glands, are taggers, tagging glands. The parotid glands primarily, via the mineral copper, when you ingest a substance or breathe it in, those parotid glands via the mineral copper tag it and take it into the body. Now, for example, if it's a poison or the body perceives as a poison and it's tagged, then the parotids via the mineral copper will take that poison or that and put it in the lymphatic system, the sewer system or another system for eventual cleansing and removal of your body. If it's a food or something that's a nutrient for the body, it will actually take it to your liver where it is broken down into carbon, hydrogen, 
oxygen, and nitrogen to be eventually sent to the cells of a particular part of the body to be used for nutrition or nutrients. So these parotid glands also, and the salivary glands, that also secrete certain enzymes to help you to start to digest your food as well. Many, many people have gut problems. And when you have a gut problem, remember your body and your gut has billions of microorganisms that work. It's like, a, it's like an, it's an ecosystem that works in harmony with each other, these bacteria, that becomes imbalanced due to stress, emotions, poor diet, sugar, carbohydrate, meaning refined carbohydrate, desserts, alcohol, caffeine, and other poisons that can offset and affect your ecological system and your gut health. When you have your ecosystem off in your body, then these bacteria that are your allies become your enemy. And we now see a overgrowth of varying things happening in that ecological system, such as virus and infection and certain bacteria and yeasts and fungus and parasites. It's kind of like, it's like, your house that you want to keep clean and balanced is open to these invaders. You would never, ever hopefully do that with your house and keep it dirty to allow uh, varying uh, organisms and whatever and vermin enter into your house. That's what we do through negative thinking, through poor food choices, lack of exercise, imbalance in lifestyle and so forth. In understanding the pillar, the digestive tract, digestion again begins in your mouth at these glands. There is your liver that filters all of your waste products and poisons, but also is so important in the transmission of certain nutrients to other parts of your body. Your stomach, your pancreas, which has a twofold job, Let's just talk about the pancreas for a minute. The pancreas, which is involved in uh, digestive functions, as I mentioned earlier, regulates your insulin. Your insulin is produced, or your sugar, that regulates the sugar. So when you eat a food something, a source, whatever, and it's sugar, whether a simple sugar, a complex sugar, or refined sugar, your pancreas has to produce enough insulin to help regulate or handle that sugar load so that your blood sugar is not, uh, in, in your bloodstream is not creating this imbalance uh, that then offsets your, your, your insulin levels where they go up and down. And when you have insulin dysregulation, there's major symptoms that happen four actually major symptoms that can happen from insulin dysregulation. Blurred vision, itchy skin, fogginess, increased urination. For example, those that have heard of, you know, type 2 diabetes, right? It's so rampant today, and you see all types of commercials for it all over the place. Type 2 diabetes is easily correctable today with proper lifestyle changes in diet and exercise. So the pancreas has a twofold job. Insulin regulation to regulate your blood sugar so it doesn't go spike up and down all day long. This is one of the reasons why you see everybody in Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts and whatever and having a cup of coffee at 2 o'clock in the afternoon because we're failing. Our blood sugar levels are going down. We want a quick fix. We want some stimulation. We want a, a carbohydrate. We see ourselves have an increased energy burst. And about a half hour later, later, we're ready to fall asleep. And we're nonproductive. The pancreas also has another job, which is to regulate, to produce enzymes. So as you begin to digest your food, 
the pancreas will produce these enzymes and inject them, so to speak, into your small intestine, the duodenal area, for further breakdown. So this whole pathway continues through stomach, small intestine, large intestine, and of course, uh, for eventual elimination out of the body. So the health of our digestive function, that major pillar, digestion, and that our house has to be clean. If gut health is off and that pillar is off and the house is not clean, it is extremely, you cannot get well. You can't feel well every day. And as I mentioned earlier, some other body system is going to be affected by that pillar being off. So, again, hydration, digestion, I'm just reiterating the pillars. We've talked about now the blood sugar, blood sugar handling. Insulin or blood sugar is also driven, as I mentioned, we talked about by the liver and also by the pancreas itself, but also by the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands are, again, these glands that sit on your kidneys that secrete certain hormones. Many of you out there listening have heard of the hormone cortisol. And there's another hormone that the adrenal produces called D. H-E-A. So cortisol and DHEA are produced by the adrenal glands. And other hormones called, you know, you've heard of the epinephrine and norepinephrine or what's called your, and uh, uh, there's also, um, I'm just trying, I don't want to over, uh, I want you to kind of, I'm trying to keep this simple to the audience. So let's stay there. So before, and on our other show, we'll go deeper into the adrenals. So the adrenals also are a driver of the regulation of insulin in your body. Important. Because most of us have adrenal glands because they're, let me just say this, they're also responsible for the fight or flight mechanism. So meaning that everyone knows that when we have a stressor, then the adrenal glands come into action to be able to say, okay, I got to deal with this stress, and it produces certain hormones. Uh, There's a hormonal reaction, cortisol, DHEA, to meet the demands of that stress. And once the stress is over, the adrenal glands in a short period of time should return back to the normal function. But what happens is over time, as stresses continue and continue and continue, and we don't adapt to the stress, then we can... Um, then we can eventually weaken and become exhausted. Now, when those adrenal glands are overstressed and overtaxed for long periods of time, here's a secondary effect. Many, many, many gut problems develop from poor adrenal dysfunction or fatigue of the adrenal glands. Many of you out there may have heard of what's called leaky gut syndrome. Let me explain to you what that is, real simple. When you have adrenal insufficiency, right, which is part of the blood sugar pillar, the adrenal glands, remember I said there's three glands, uh, three organs that regulate blood sugar handling, this important pillar. When there is adrenal fatigue and weakness, it's going to create this leaky gut. So the foods that we normally eat, that we body can really handle when everything is rocking and heavy and, and doing great. It's like a it's like a strainer, a sieve, where certain foods that normally the body would handle when the adrenal system is doing fine react. So we see these allergy and sensitivity responses that begin to happen from foods normally that we would be able to handle, as I said when there's proper adrenal balance. Also, secondary to many, many adrenal imbalances, which remember I said, I'm going to reiterate again, these pillars have to be balanced and, and, and doing well, or else a body system is going to be affected. What body systems? Endocrine, cardiovascular, neurological detox, and uh, immunology. Also, 
we're going to see a secondary effect many times in thyroid dysfunction. So many, many, many thyroid imbalances, hypothyroid, is a secondary effect from adrenal dysfunction and fatigue. So we see people going to the doctor, the endocrinologist, and they're getting put on meds and all of these things, and they're not looking deeper at a, a root cause. And then they're giving meds and other things to affect a secondary or a tertiary problem from something that's really not being addressed, which is adrenal dysfunction. And let me just say, if you are not having more sophisticated testing that's looking deeper into the body, especially in adrenal and other uh, functional tests such as, uh, how many of you out there listening have had a saliva test done? See, saliva can evaluate your hormonal levels of your body. Cortisol, DHEA, what's called pregnenolone, which is needed to make other hormones in your body. Saliva testing can evaluate um, uh, your progesterone and testosterone levels. So if you're having, if you're listening, you're having a glandular hormonal or other imbalances, those tests are, are important. And they should be run and evaluated properly. Let's move on a little bit. Actually, what I'd like to do is give you guys a uh, uh, give you guys a chance to think about what I'm talking about. We're going to take a break for a couple of minutes. Call me. I see some of you are chatting. Um, call me on the phone and say hello. Talk to me. And uh, I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Think about what we're talking about. And, and I'll, I'll be back with the Creating Health Show. I'm Dr. Ken Davis. Some people still don't believe that secondhand smoke is dangerous. This is Scott Bakula. Did you know that just being around someone who smokes can cause severe lung problems, heart disease, and cancer? But there is something you can do about it. Call for a free booklet from the Will Rogers Institute. It clearly explains the proven risks of secondhand smoke and the ways you can avoid exposure. Toll free, 1-877-957-7575. Because secondhand smoke is dangerous. Believe it. Welcome back to the Creating Health Show, and thanks, Steve. Uh, it's really, again, as I said, uh, it's good to be back. And uh, I see that a good friend of mine and student, uh, Carol Hagedorn, if you don't mind me mentioning your name, Carol, is in the chat room. Send me a little chat and say hello. Um, Sophia asks, uh, I have a few questions I'd like to address. Is drinking flavored no-calorie water okay? Uh, not really, uh, Sophia. Flavored water, first of all, what is it flavored with? See, if there's no, no, a lot of the waters out there have no calories in it. You know, water has to do with the proper mineral, the pH of it, uh, the proper mineral content. So it's, uh, if you can give me a little bit more information on what that is, I can respond better to your question. Uh, the, you're correct. 
Steve, McDonald's and the fast food industry push product on you, but the thing is it's, it's a billion-dollar marketing campaign that we're facing, the same with the drug companies. Do you know that uh, we've been doing these dinner talks um, – uh, we've been doing these dinner talks uh, on varying topics of health and well-being around the uh, Bergen County and Essex County area. And um, in those talks, you know, the do you know that the in the United Kingdom, the UK, they don't show advertisements about drugs on TV there. They are actually, they've clamped down and closed down. They don't buy this whole drug thing anymore in the UK and other countries. They don't. You don't see a commercial for five minutes talking about, uh, for one, I'm sorry, for one minute talking about a, a medication and then five minutes to tell you about, well, it can kill you and it can cause cancer and this and that. Think about that. And we bought, we allow this. We're, 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 we're allowing this to be. The drug company uh, is a billion, multi-billion dollar industry. Also, also think about some of the products that are being marketed, how smart it is. You know, think of a, a, a packet of Splenda. You, notice, you know what color Splenda is, the packet? Someone tell me out there. It's yellow. Also, the other, you know, uh, uh, some of those other ones. What's the pink one? Yellow, pink. What are yellow and pink colors of? Baby. The, it, it's a, it, incredibly uh, incredible marketing tool that they use to get us to use that stuff. Also, so we have to, yes, we, we have to learn, and so we have to be educated to making better choices. It's all about making a better choice. Crystal light and regular water, cooler water. Uh, I don't think that's a, a beneficial water, Sophia. Uh, there's, a lot, uh, there's a lot better waters than that to, uh, to drink. Be interesting to test it kinesiologically. Uh, that water, but I would think that it would create weakness. Do you have a favorite water? Uh, I have several favorite waters, but there's a lot of good. I actually like, and what tests very well in our practice with patients, is Volvic uh, water is very, very good, and uh, and uh, Fiji, uh, not Fiji, my mind. Not Fiji. Fiji, not Fiji. Uh, uh, excuse me, f forgive me. F uh, Volvic and Fiji. Yeah, Fiji, Fiji, I'm sorry, Fiji. Um, but there's a lot of good waters out there, and I try and test a lot of them um, through, the, through the things in which we do in the practice. Is there something to look at on the bottle? Sophia, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Sophia says, yeah, it's at the hospital where I work. That's the reason why it's there, Sophia. It's in the hospital where, you know, they're giving sick people food that does absolutely nothing to build their nutrition up. So I would think from that point that it is not beneficial. It's a lot, a lot more. Uh, uh, there's higher quality water left things in which you could drink. How could you tell? I just know I've investigated these types of waters over many, many, many years. There's nothing on the bottle that indicates. You'd have to read. You'd have to also tell me what's on the bottle, Sophia, and I'd be able to respond better. To it, but I would think that if it's in the hospital, it's not properly as beneficial as it can be for the patients. Um, let's move on a little bit into the uh, uh, into the uh, into the pillars a little bit more. So again, I mentioned again the um, getting back to gut health. Uh, maybe we should stay on gut health a little bit tonight, and we'll continue through the other pillar, pillars as uh, we do other shows. So important, gut health. Again, I'm going to say it again. Unless we clean the house and get that house clean, which is through proper food and also detoxification, it is very difficult to get well, almost impossible. So yes, in our practice, in our uh, wellness programs, 
we incorporate the utilization of very specific phase one and phase two liver detoxification processes through uh, some very fine um, products that we utilize. We all need to have our house clean, and we need to cleanse at least twice a year. I'm not talking about a juice fast now or something like that. Because, you know, a lot of people come into our office for health and well-being and want to regain their health. And, you know, you can't just, uh, apart from going deeper in our testing modes uh, and certainly going uh, and utilizing functional medicine testing or whatever, you have to, um, you have to be willing to, to clean your body. And I tell patients that if your septic system in your house was stopped up, right, you're going to have a problem on the second floor. I, I, you, wouldn't, you would go and call the company, and, and you would. You would clean it out. What, your body's no different. It's very difficult. You know, you just go outside today, you know, and you're affected by the environment, by pollution and whatever, no matter how clean we are. Yes, we want to be as... We want to be as clean as possible. Don't get me wrong. We do. So it's important to cleanse your body and detoxify periodically, which creates phenomenal changes in your bloods. We have uh, a special program that we implement in our practice where we've probably put 500 people through this cleanse detoxification program you would not believe the changes in their blood chemistries before and after, after two and four weeks on this pro. You're talking cholesterol levels that drop 100, 200 points. Uh, uh, small particle LDL, uh, triglyceride levels, uh, blood pressure. It's incredible. Oh, I, the point I was going to make is that when you have these functional and biochemical imbalances in your body, you can't just go and start taking supplements. Not really. Not when the house needs to be cleaned. You're not going to utilize it properly. You have to first clean the house. Also, then someone asked me in the chat room about people needing to... Un- Amanda, people need to understand how to shop for food that provide proper nutrients. Absolutely. You know, we're all, we all live this fast-paced life, right? And we need to, if we don't know, there are ways of, of making better choices. You know, also, if you're going to drink a cup of coffee for breakfast and you're not going to eat breakfast, you're stressing the hell out of those adrenal glands. You're not going to feel good. There are fast metabolizers. There's slow metabolizers. You're a fast metabolizer. You better eat. You better have protein periodically during the, you know, every two, three hours. And many people need to eat before they go to bed at night. But what? What do I eat? This is the question. We'll cover this during the, uh, as we continue on in our shows. But people think having a, 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 a bagel or, or cereal is a breakfast. It's not a breakfast. It's like eating cardboard. There's no fuel. We're finding, my associate Kristen Donchez and I, who works with me, we're finding when we do these functional tests on children, meaning functional adrenal that evaluates their cortisol levels and DHEA, do you know that we're finding children at 9 years old and 10 years old who have our, what we call a phase 3 adrenal pattern? They're in adrenal exhaustion at 9 years old. Their health, they're, they haven't, they're developing autoimmune problems. And that's why they're having ADD, ADHD, and all of these uh, neurological and brain chemistry type of problems. Why they're sick all the time, why they have no energy. We have to do something about this. The medical system is broken, it doesn't work. The medical system does not pay. It is not a health wellness system. Now, I'm not against medicine, but it is not a wellness approach. 
Yes, there are physicians that are kind of finally getting on the bandwagon a little bit and moving into the alternative and integrative mode. But in general, they're still practicing barbaric practices. And I, you can't blame them. You know why? Because they're forced to because of the amount of time that the government and Medicare and other things give them to treat you. Do you know that the average office visit in an MD has gone from seven minutes to five minutes the visit? So in that five minutes, unless he recommends meds or a surgery that you may not need, he ain't going to get paid. He's not going to make any money. And then when you go there, you wait two or three hours, and then you don't see him anyway. You see the physician's assistant. So do you think that when you go in with type 2 diabetes or a problem that he's going to take you into his nutritionist and sit you down and recommend what you should eat or shouldn't eat and whatever? No. He's going to give you a medication to try and lower your cholesterol or blood pressure or diabetes because it's a lot faster and he can get paid for it. That's the truth. It's the truth. It's unfortunate. So in a way, we can't blame them. Their hands are tied. They don't know what to do. It's the only way they can get paid. We need medical doctors, but we need them for crisis. I certainly, if we were, God forbid, in an accident or had a problem, that's where we want to go. We have the best physicians to be able to put us back together again. And... Uh, Uh, yes, Amanda, fasting would absolutely. It's not fasting that I'm talking about tonight. Fasting is involved is cleansing for just a couple of days in this particular uh, detoxification program that we use in our office and our clinic. But, but fasting, you know, is not necessarily something that has to be on for long, long periods of time. It's not necessary also that fasting is going to clean out your system as well. Not necessarily. Um, we have about seven minutes to go in the show tonight. And I mentioned to you that you'll have an opportunity. One of the things that uh, I developed and I've been teaching, as I mentioned, around the United States is this system, very specific system of analysis and nutritional uh, correction and balance called ENATE, Energetic nutrition assessment technique. So if you're, you are listening in and you're a practitioner uh, of some sort that utilizes nutrition, you certainly can learn this incredible system that can in seconds and minutes evaluate this, these five pillars and uh, the effect and the body systems very rapidly. And we teach these uh, this ENA, that's what our Boston seminar and workshop was about. We're going to be doing another one uh, in uh, Minnesota, in Minneapolis, on November 22nd and 23rd. You can get that information on our website. On our we I would encourage you to check out our site. We have a lot of great information on there. And uh, please send me your email, and we'll put you on our list and get you, uh, and get you information. We have videos and, and many other things to educate you. Uh, remember, I mentioned at the beginning of the show that we want to be your, we want to be your guide and your mentor, and help you. Um, also, I want to um, throw this out to you as well. On uh, October twentieth, uh, 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 at the Pear and the Plum in Wyckoff, New Jersey. We'll have information on our website. It's not there yet. Uh, Kristen Donchez, my associate, is going to be doing a dinner talk on thyroid health, meaning that the, top, the title of our talk is, well, why does my medical doctor say my bloods are normal, but I still have all of these thyroid symptoms? And those of you listening in may have or presently be on thyroid meds or have a problem or been told you have a, 
or maybe you have Hashimoto's or, or uh, uh, Graves' disease, or these so-called autoimmune problems. Um, if you are interested in attending this workshop, and it's not a workshop, I'm sorry, a dinner talk, because you or another have a particular thyroid problem, you can call my office, Davis Advanced Health System, Dr. Ken Davis, Montclair, New Jersey, at 973-744-7447, and we can qualify you for this and determine whether or not that talk is right for you. And we'll schedule you in, and you can come and get a great dinner and listen to a great talk by Kristen. Again, October 20th at the Pear and Plum. This will be on our website. And uh, you just need to call the office and tell, uh, tell us uh, that you heard this on uh, Rockland World Radio, and we'll, we'll get you into the, uh, for the talk. Um, we have about four minutes to go. Boy, it's, it's amazing how fast an hour goes. And I hope, again, thank you for those who, uh, who uh, went into the chat room to uh, welcome me back and thank me for the show tonight. I love helping people. I've been doing it now 40 years. And I try and be an example and, as I said, a guide and a mentor to those that need help. Meaning that I have done really everything imaginable over these four decades relating to diet and health and exercise and lifestyle. And, and it would be very ludicrous and hypocritical if I told you to do something uh, uh, and uh, I didn't do it myself. So a lot of what I guide you on is what I've learned and had by personal experience and also in my ability to help and deal with thousands and thousands of people from all walks of life with varying conditions and ailments and symptoms. But remember, our job is we're not treating uh, at the Davis Events Health System in our office, we're not treating an illness, we're treating a person. But again, getting back to, just in summary, you have these five foundational pillars, digestion, blood sugar handling, fatty acid metabolism, mineral balance, proper cofactors, micro, macro, and hydration is the underlying root cause factor that's leading to your dysfunction in your health and well-being or your families or friends or loved one. No matter what they have, it could be traced back to that. I want you to think about that this week. And text me, I'm sorry, write me, go into our website, go to our Facebook page, send me an email, and ask me questions. Also, relating to that innate, oh, I left this out real quick. Those out there listening in can come to our office and have a complimentary innate exam. It's about a half hour. It's a $250 value where we will evaluate you utilizing this incredible revolutionary system of analysis of these five pillars and body systems. All you need to do is call our office, again, at 973-744-7447, and uh, either Nancy or Kristen uh, will uh, put you in and will schedule you for an innate evaluation. You'll love it. And we'll guide you and tell you what's off and what you need to work on and, and uh, balance and uh, help you with your health and your well-being. Okay? So um, take advantage of that. Okay, guys. It's 9 o'clock. And uh, I'm going to sign off. I, it's been a pleasure. And I've really enjoyed being back. Um, and uh, I'm going to be back soon. And uh, we'll keep you posted in our, uh, we'll blast you and uh, through our website and through Rockland World Radio and check it out and, uh, and hang out with me for an hour and uh, we'll have a good time and we'll learn a lot together. So with that in mind, I'm Dr. Ken Davis. This is Creating Health, Mind, Body, and Spirit. I'm going to sign off. I wish you guys a great week and I'll see you on the radio.
It's not just radio, it's Rockland World Radio. Rockland World Radio.com.